true and faithful friend to you and the children forever. My heart is entwined around yours forever and ever. Oh, may God bless you all. No one but God knows the reflections of my mind and the feelings of my heart. When I left our house and home and almost all of everything that we possessed, excepting our little children, and took my journey out of the state of Missouri, leaving you shut up in that lonesome prison. But the reflection is more than human nature ought to bear. And if God does not record our sufferings and avenge our wrongs on them that are guilty, I shall be sadly mistaken. And as to yourself, if you want to know how much I want to see you, examine your feelings, how much you want to see me, and judge for yourself. I would gladly walk from here to you barefoot and bareheaded and half naked to see you and think it great pleasure and never count it toil. They talk to one another frequently about their great love and how much they, they miss one another. And of course this separation, uh, the time when he was in Liberty Jail was the, the greatest separation they'd ever had to endure. And I think in these letters one feels uh, the pang of that s separation and their deep love and concern for one another. Liberty Jail, with its deplorable conditions, it's easy to imagine that Joseph and fellow prisoners want a different place, if not freedom. And so they begin to write a series of letters with the help of Alexander Donovan, seeking for a change of venue. In other words, get us out of liberty where our lives are threatened by oaths daily, and let us uh, be another place. That change of venue was granted to a place called Boone County. So as the prisoners now are being transported from Liberty towards that, uh, that area, there will be a time in which uh, they are able to escape. Now, uh, history records various accounts of their escape. Some suggest that uh, the guards literally assisted in their escape. Other accounts uh, are that the guards are drunk. Uh, once they've kind of passed out, the prisoners grab the horses and they're on their own. By this point, it's obvious that Lilburn W. Boggs, the governor, he succeeded in getting Mormons out of the state. In other words, we've been driven, but now the question is what to do with Joseph. It appears that the escape may have been planned not only by Joseph and Hiram and fellow prisoners, but even those in higher places. Now when the Prophet Joseph Smith and his brother and others uh, finally escaped from Liberty Jail in April of 1839, they make a beeline, that's the right word for it, for Quincy. They know by now, from the word coming back from Brigham Young and the other leadership of the church, that this is where the church is struggling to survive. Once Joseph has reached safety in Quincy, it's obvious he's looking for his wife. The woman that he's exchanged letters with, that he sent counsel about caring for the children. Imagine both of their joy to meet and embrace once again, both free and yet both having endured so much for the gospel of Jesus Christ. This was a homecoming that would stand out in all of history as a remembrance of a time when a loving husband could once again embrace his wife. Joseph Smith uh, knew that he had been called by God. And because of that, I know he knew and he strongly felt that God would back him up and stand by him. And especially after Liberty Jail, he comes out of that a different man. He knows that although his days might be numbered, that God will back him up, will support him in his trials and his efforts to restore the rest of the church, the rest of the truth that God had for the saints. And Joseph Smith could not have been successful had he not known that God stood by him. 
and that he had called him by divine appointment to be his prophet. But I do see a turning point in his life, and I really do believe it's Liberty Jail. The Lord said that thy days are known, they will not be numbered less. And he knows that God will back him up, and that he'll support him and sustain him. And so we get a different kind of Joseph in Nauvoo. After Liberty Jail, he's clearly a different prophet.